Welcome in, everyone. Hope we had a decent weekend. Get everything set up here. Um, so to, to begin with, one of the things that we will be using a lot of today is going to be a band. So go ahead and grab your TheraBands if you have them. We can do this without it, but preferably. Welcome. Hi, Sanjeev. How? Hello, Christina. Hi, Bill. Good. Hey, glad we all make it, can make it in time. Hey, congratulations, Mary, on your half marathon last weekend. I was talking with, with Rory last night, and he was just kind of walking me through about how close we were to the personal best and things we can improve on and so forth, and, or so on and so forth. But awesome. Congratulations. You know, anytime we can <clears throat> get that kind of effort this time of uh, this time this, in this atmosphere, it's always good. Congratulations, really happy to, to see we can, we're making progress. I think that's, that's definitely the, um, what we need to rest our hat on. Okay, so grab your band if you have it. Definitely gonna be needing a lot of this today because we are gonna be working directly on our hips and our glutes today. So welcome in everyone. If I didn't get a chance to say hello, thank you all very much for joining. Uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you don't subscribe. We do this every Monday, Wednesday. Um, usually anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes on Wednesdays the, it's gonna be anywhere from 15 to 25 depending on how much I'd like to ramble on but I'm gonna keep you guys waiting and we'll get ahead go ahead and get started so for those who have been with us for a long time you have done this routine several times over we're gonna continue doing it and getting better at it so let's go ahead and lay on our side I'm gonna call this the seven depths of hips I coined that kind of fun huh all right so we're gonna be on our right side, rest that arm right in front of you and hand behind the head. All right, so we're gonna go in between seven different exercises on both the left side and the right side. The goal is to go completely nonstop. So I'll demonstrate exactly what we're gonna do first. So we'll start off with 15 reps of up, down, okay? And then 15 reps front to center, 15 back to center, and front to back will be the next exercise. And then we're going to hip circles, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Then we'll go into our bicycle. So we've got seven exercises, left side and right side today. We're gonna try to go non-stop. You have to take a break, take a breather, jump right back in, simple enough. Okie dokie, here we go. Everybody on our right side, and we're going in three, two, one, here we go. One, two, point that foot down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, front to center now. Make sure that you're in good in good alignment here from head to toe. I want to make sure that that foot stays about a foot off the ground the entire time, keeping things nice and elevated. Make sure those hips don't sink back either. Nice, good form, engaged abdomen. You're all set to go. All right, and we're gonna get it moving now. We've been keeping that leg up for quite some time. All right, front to center. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, back to center now. Here we go. One, two, stay stable. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, hang in there, 12, 13, 14, 15, and back to center. Okay, if you need to let that leg go, if you need to lift it up, kind of get some range of motion in there, that's okay. If you're hanging there, hanging tough, congratulations, because this is hard. Okay, front to back now, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, keeping it up now. We're going into clockwise circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switching it up. Counterclockwise now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, last one on the right side. Here we go. And bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. Let that leg down now. Probably getting a lot of work there. And a TFL, glute mead, piriformis. That's exactly what we're trying to hit today. So that is a real fatiguer uh, to really start things off. All right, we're going to switch sides now. If that wasn't enough, now we get other sides. I always find that one side is naturally going to be a little bit harder than the other, and that's absolutely fine. Gives you a good idea of some key areas where you might be losing some strength or you might have not as good as much uh, range of motion or mobility. So keep an eye on that and really kind of bookmark those things that you're really struggling with. Okay, I'm laying on the left side now. Remember, foot pointed down, heel as far up as possible. Really want to get that lateral side, that glute med, that piriformis, TFL engaged properly. All right, here we go. Up, down, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Front to center now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, back to center now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, front to back now. Here we go. Three, two, one. One two, three, keep this core stable, four, five, six, I'm gonna swing it from the hips, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, here we go, clockwise circles now. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switching it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and bicycles now for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. Good. That side felt a little bit easier for me. I don't know about you. Um, again, we're going to have some uh, some differences between side to side, and that's absolutely okay. Typically, your more dominant side is going to be the stronger one. So it doesn't mean that both sides don't need to get equally matched. It just means that one side is going to be naturally stronger than the other, likely the, the foot that drives you the most. So 
Good. So really get things turned on, nice and firing. You can do that a few times a week, and I'd almost always recommend it. Uh, it's going to be really good for an engagement and just getting things fired. I don't know about you guys, but I sit a lot when I'm working. Um, and when you're sitting, you're naturally just turning everything off. So we just got to make sure that we're turning things back on so that reminds us that when we go back out for a run, we're using those muscles uh, both in the linear but also in a lateral support fashion. It allows us to, to run stronger, um, ideally more efficiency or efficiently and you know, minimizing the risk of injury. That's the goal. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab those bands now. Everything else from now on will be time-based, so you won't hear me shouting numbers the entire time. So we're gonna go band exercise. We're gonna have groups of three exercises. We will go through each of those two times through. Those are all a minute apiece. Okay, so let's go ahead and sit down now. Get my timer set up. All right, so we've got 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and grab that band and put it around just above your kneecap. You can choose which band works best for you. As you can see, this one I'm using today is actually pretty loose. Um, so depending on how you're feeling, if you have workouts tomorrow, how, um, you know, what's important. If you have a really hard workout today, no need to go make yourself incredibly sore so that compromises or risks the outcome or the performance of that workout. I want to make this more of a, it's definitely strength and strength endurance but we definitely want to make sure that we're using it for the appropriate means and that is activation and getting those uh, hip and glute muscles fired. So I'm going a little bit lighter today, you pick your poison. All right. All right, so we're on our backs and for 60 seconds, let's go with three, two, one, and let's press up. So that band is going to press in on your knees, making you naturally, if you were to relax, to collapse those knees inwards. But I really want you to focus on keeping those knees pressed out, engaging that glute med, like I said before, TFL, even some glute max here as we're pressing up, but we're getting great activation throughout that entire posterior chain, but also from the lateral aspect of things too, by keeping that knee stabilized and focusing on squeezing those glutes so that they, they stabilize the knees. That's the idea when we're running. If you ever see a picture of yourself or you uh, personally experience your knee collapsing in, a lot of times that comes from up the chain. So we're really gonna focus on making that better. Three, two, one, and go ahead and transition to your right side now. We're gonna go into some basic clamshells. So I want those knees slightly ahead of your hips and your feet slightly behind. That is the form we're looking for today. Body nice and straight. We're gonna open up the feet like a book, really focusing on engaging that lateral hip. We'll go for 60 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, and opening up. So the only thing moving here is that foot and knee. So you should naturally Feel the lateral side of your hips and glutes getting worked. Try your best not to open up the hip and allow that band to carry you over. Really want to isolate that as much as possible. Wake it up, get it engaged. You can even squeeze a little bit there at the top if you want to hold. Personal preference, that's entirely up to you. And with this being time based, it is all about getting as much quality with the quantity of time that we are using. So don't try to rush it nice and slow, methodical movements, making sure that you're getting that muscle worked and firing. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch sides now. We're gonna get rolling here in five, four, three, two, one. And here we go. We're just opening up. So again, if you're confused anything or any time about the overall position here, remember just the good cue is to have knees slightly ahead of your body with those ankles slightly behind. And again, we're opening up like a clamshell. 
So lots of options here with the type of band you use. It can be easy or it can be hard. Um, an easy thing for you to do before your run. If you're ever worried about activation, this is a great series to go through. Those glue bridges with the band, getting things nice and activated, but also getting more lateral focus here with the clamshells. And then we'll transition into some Jane Fondas here in a second. Three quick exercises you can do in less than five minutes to kind of get things firing before you head out the door. Three, two, one. All right, so go ahead and grab that band now and we're gonna slide it down onto our ankles like so. I'm gonna transition back onto my right side. Okay, so same thing here. So we've got the band around the ankle. We're gonna point that toe towards the ground. If you remember in our uh, seven depths of hip series, we started with that leg raise. We're gonna do the exact, exact same thing here, but we're gonna add a little bit of resistance. If you don't have a band, you can absolutely do all of these without a band as well. So if you feel as though you're being left out, know that you can always modify down by removing the band. If, that, if you're beginning, you don't wanna add the extra stress, definitely start there. I'm using a wider band at the moment, and you can make this as hard as possible, as hard as you possibly want it to be, with the addition of bands or possibly even ankle weights. But I'm gonna stick with bands for now. All right, we're going 60 seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. So I want you to lead with that heel now, okay? That foot should be pointing to the ground. Your heel is leading up toward the ceiling. Again, keeping that body in a nice, straight line, getting uh, some great activation there on the lateral hip. I even feel a bit long that IT, that's absolutely okay. Some quad action, not worried about that. So take your time, do as much as you can. Your band might not be as malleable as mine. You might be only moving from here to here and that's okay. I want you to exercise this specific movement with control. Okay, we're gonna stop here in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and transition back to the other side. Okay, alrighty, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. So just taking our time. I want you to stay controlled with the movement the entire time. So what I don't want to see is just a bunch of this. That's not controlled. I want controlled all the way up and even on the way down. I would even say the resistance there on the way down is more important than the resistance on the way up. I don't want you just completely just letting that leg fall dormant on the way down. I want exercise of full control of this movement. Nice shot, guys. All right, we're going five, four, three, two, one, and we're stopping. Just a little short, but that's okay. Okay, go ahead and grab that band. We're going back through those one more time through. This time we're gonna go for 45 seconds, not the full minute. So, band around the knee. If you want to move up in bands, feel a little bit more confident now, that's absolutely okay. If you don't have a band, that's okay too. So let's focus on the position here, touching your full back, pressing up, and we're gone. So every time you meet the ground, I want your full back touching the ground. So you should not be able to slide your hand under there if you try. That is the position that I want to see. Correct postural position and try to maintain that the entire way up. Remembering to squeeze the glutes. We are working a little bit hamstring here, but I really want to see those glutes engage the most. That is where the emphasis is. And I want you actively trying to squeeze that musculature. Nice job. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead and put that back around the 
ankle now, or actually, sorry, back around the knee. All right, so going back into clamshells, remember that band is slightly above the knee, knee slightly ahead of the body, ankle slightly behind. We've got 45 seconds, three, two, one, and here we go. Start slow, slowly add a little bit more movement, pressing out that knee, gaining a little bit more access of the glutes there, really feeling that working. Holding there at the top if you'd like. Just get a little bit more activation, more signaling by that holding pattern there at the top. That's absolutely fine. Good work. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and switching sides now. Quick transition. We're gonna get rolling in five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Good. Press is there. Place that hand right above that hip bone here, right below it, right above your femoral head, your top of your femur, your quad. You can feel that exact muscle being worked. And that's the idea. That's the goal. That is what we're trying to floss out at the moment. All right, less than 10. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, back around the ankles now. 45 seconds. And our Jane Fonda's, our lateral hip raises. And we're starting in three, two, one, straight leg, toe facing down, leading with that heel. Good. Again, a bit of a longer series today, just making sure that we're going to touch all the bases as possible. Out of our three sets that we are doing, this is by far the longest one. So if you're concerned about time, it's okay if you want to pause and revisit another time. But just letting you guys know that we are cycling downwards here in terms of the length at each and one, each one of these exercises, these sets of exercises. Two, one, and switching sides. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Same thing. Okay. Using that first round to activate. Now we're isolating and adding more resistance, more load for us to react to. So you might find you might be a little tired. Hips might be a little sore tomorrow and that's okay. But just make sure that you're not overdoing it today. Um, what I don't like to see is anybody who Kind of gets into that mindset of like, all right, I'm going to go to the gym. And they go to the gym and they push themselves so hard and they make themselves so sore and they force themselves to go back that next week. And by two or three weeks, you're absolutely done. All right, switch. And that's really what I don't want to see here. We focus on consistency, um, doing less than we have to and building that up over time. Ideally, once you work up to a certain baseline, that soreness should almost mitigate itself. You should almost just be refining and slowly getting better, working those movements in a way that benefits you. It doesn't mean that it's not, there's not going to be some soreness. Absolutely, there will always be. But I want to make sure that it's sustainable and it doesn't just knock you out. Okay, so we're going back and we are standing now. So go ahead and grab that band. We're going to put it around our knees. Okay, and we're going to go into 60 seconds of squats with our band. Okay, here we go three two one and nice and deep squat okay pressing outward with that band you want us to get as deep as possible while maintaining good form okay i like to personally keep my feet a little further than shoulder width apart my toes facing slightly outward 
That's just my ideal stance. Allows me to get nice and deep without compromising my form. Really trying to press out with that band. It's naturally going to be providing some inward force there on the legs. And that's just going to allow us to get a little bit more engagement of the glutes and the hips, which is our focus today, without adding too much weight to the equation. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Grab that band, put it around your ankle now. We're gonna go into lateral walks. All right. So the way it's gonna look, nice athletic position. You put hands on your hips if you like, and we're taking small steps. So reaching with the light lead leg, bringing that other leg over nice and controlled. Go left to right as much as you can inside your own homes. We're gonna do it for 60 seconds. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. So leading that lead leg, nice athletic position, working your way left to right. Naturally, you're going to feel a little burn there in the quads. If you're doing it right, you also feel it in that lateral hip and deeper into your glutes as well. So this is about the pace that I want to see you at. Relatively simple, but very, very effective. Something that you can always modify up. The resistance band is too hard. You can always go without. And if it's too easy, you can always go up. So pick what is best for you. We're gonna go 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and good. Okay. All right, so keep that band around the ankles. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into step backs. So the way this is gonna look, I'm gonna move my mat. So keep it around the ankle, nice controlled. Basically a reverse lunge, but really try to keep that as close to you as possible. You see mine is rolling up on me. Let's try this. Okay. So that's what we're going to do today. You might have some issues with it rolling up like I am. Um, I actually want that left foot. You're going to step on top of that here. So that's nice and planted on the ground. And the other one can also go on your foot. Okay. So you're, you're standing on top of your band. And now you're going to use that to go into that lateral lunge. Okay. We're going to reverse legs each side. Come over to this. Coming in. Back in. Might be a little hard. Alrighty. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. So, making sure that as you come to that standing position, that you are standing on top of that band, allowing yourself to get that full reach back. A bit difficult. I know with the bands, if you need to, you can rip yourself of those bands and just go into a reverse lunge. That's absolutely okay. Good. So just to remind you, we're standing with those bands on the middle of our feet so that we can properly lunge back, adding that extra resistance there and allowing freedom and that eccentric movement as we come up to square. Good. I'm going to go 10 more seconds. Shove. Three, two, one. Good. One more time through that. Band back on the knee. We're going to get rolling here. Five, four, three, two, one. And here we go, 60 seconds on the squats. I feel a little bit more confident. We can do this a little faster. Again, make sure that we're not sacrificing form, the integrity of the exercise itself. Get a little extra speed here if you'd like. 
maybe slow it down if you're using a weight or you're using a heavier resistance band, that's okay. So as you've noticed that today, we're going a little bit more on the endurance side of things. So definitely gonna be better activation wise, injury prevention. On another series, we'll talk about going through power and gaining better efficiency through heavier weights, but less reps. Today, I'm trying to get as much as volatile as possible. So five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice job. Back around the ankles, we're going into our walks. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, working through it rather quickly. That's good. Nice job. athletic stance, nice and low, good focus, we got 10 more seconds, here we go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, awesome job, okay, again, well now we're standing on top of that band, it's in the middle of our foot, we are going to go one more minute, Alternating, lie, alternating legs with our split squat, our reverse lunge, sorry. Three, two, one, here we go. Awesome. Keeping 90 degree angle here, that's the goal. Making sure that we're not going too far over that knee. Nice, good angle here. Chest over that knee. Nice, good bend of the hip. That running motion. Good. A lot of work today, guys. A lot of work today. And so going for hanging in. Continuing to do the valuable work that we know is going to help translate. Whether that's helping you become more efficient just getting a good workout in, helping mitigate some of those injuries. All right, good. Last set of three exercises we are heading into now. So we got split, squat, split squats with the band, and then we're gonna alternate that with step ups with the band. And last thing is going to be a fire hydrant with the band. So, or, um, sorry, dog reach, not a fire hydrant. Okay, here we go. So split squats now. I want to see, put that around that ankle. Okay, so go ahead and get a good tension there in that band. So separate your front leg from your back leg, slightly two feet apart. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip that knee straight into the ground, like so. Okay, you can do this if you're standing on the band as well. It might be a little easier to do so like that. If you don't want to use the band at all, that's absolutely okay. 60 seconds, um, we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Three, two, one, and here we go. So, that knee goes straight into the ground. Split squat there. So I'm actually, you can't see my feet, I actually decided to put that band in the middle of my feet and stand on it. Just gives me a little extra leverage. Um, especially if you're doing this with shorts on, you don't have socks. Uh, it's not so fun to get that band wrapped up around some leg hair. All right, switch in sides now. Good. Try to transition that pretty quick. Good. Good form. Knees engaged. Nice and tough there at the hip. Squeezing your abdomen and your core muscles. Those are just as much in use today. 
three, two, one, good. Okay, so same thing now. Band is underneath the foot on both sides. What we're gonna do is going to step ups, okay? Just like this, alternating marches. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, alternating legs, marches. Try to keep hip stable, driving that knee, getting a little bit more work here, hip flexors, some strength, range of motion. Good. And make sure that you're stable before that leg goes up. So it's a small transition period, but making sure that you're not just marching like this, but each time you are taking the time to isolate the opposite side or the driving side's hip flexor and squeezing that glute to keep you standing too. Three, two, one, and here we go. Good. So the last one of this set will be on our tabletop position. Let's bring that up and Pull it on our ankles. Good. All right. So you can put the, the band around your ankle on your left side. If you're pressing up with your right, and put that band around the, your foot again. So um, making sure that that band is around the middle of your feet. The ankles will work. Makes it a little bit more challenging. Okay. So making that left foot the opposite one that's driving. Lay it flat on the ground, top of your foot down. That way it's holding that band in place. And we're just gonna go here, adding a little extra movement there, getting glutes activated. All right, 30 seconds on each side. Here we go in three, two, one, good. So I know it might get a little complicated with the bands and the proper movement. Like I said, I have them in the middle of my feet. My left foot is actually the top of my foot is touching the ground to keep that band in place, allowing me to drive and not worry about the band coming out of place. So no band, no problem. Good, pulsing up. Two, one, switch sides. And lift resistance. It's really gonna get glute max involved. And that is exactly what we are aiming for tonight. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna roll through that one more time through. And then, that's a day. Okay, standing on that band again. Come back into that split squat position, 30 seconds on each side. Ready, let's go. Good. Straight up, straight down. Some arms in there if you'd like. Five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides now. Good. So you're in a stable position here, straight up, straight down. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, keeping the band around the middle of the feet now, going back into our step ups, and we're rolling in three, two, one, here we go. Good, nice and controlled, all the way up. Okay, 
making sure you have stable positioning. You're not just using momentum to change from side to side. Taking that slight pause between each step. Get your bearings, engage that planted foot's glute, and then pulsing up. Good. Nice job. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Keeping the band where it is, back into our tabletop, our table position here. All right. Back into our kicks. Here we go in three, two, one. Good. 30 seconds on each side. Pressing up, engaging glute. Finishing up strong. We're putting in a great effort today. A lot of time working both the smaller as well as the larger muscles there in our hips and glutes, but all working toward the same goal. So great work switching up. Congratulations. Nice effort for those who stuck out the entire time today. You know, we've done a lot of work, and I promise you this is the kind of stuff that we need to be doing near every single week to make sure that we're running efficiently, we're getting stronger, and really we're just working ourselves out of some bad habits that we've grown into uh, over the years. Three, two, one, and that's a wrap, guys. Hey, nice job again today. Thanks every one of you for sticking around, hanging out, doing the work that needs to be done. I, I really appreciate it. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark for me here. Um, a little bit, a couple hours behind a couple people. So thank you all so much. Would love to hear what you guys have to think. Um, so please do leave, some, leave a comment, provide some feedback. Let me know how the workout went for you. And as always, uh, please like the video, subscribe it, and send it to people that um, you also think would be benefit would benefit from it. So awesome. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys. Hey, thanks everyone for coming. Every Monday and Wednesday we do this. Every Monday and Wednesday we put in a good workout and we change things up, add variability, and yeah, really just stay strong. I mean, we're just working towards the same goal. Thanks everyone for the feedback. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, hey, the engagement, the engagement today, the, the amount of people we had today really excites me. Really happy to see um, more people taking this seriously. And we're going to continue working and building upon this. And I hope that uh, you guys will continue to, to support it and, and support yourself. <laughs> yeah, hey, Rodrigo, I hear you. Uh, I, I don't necessarily have really hairy legs, but I've got enough hair where that band really rips it. So awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, Bill. Hey, a lot of us missed uh, the session last week. A um, lot more important things going on in the world, of course, especially here in the U.S. Um, so um, it makes absolute sense that, hey, our mind wasn't on strength training last week, but hey, we got a new week. Um, we got some good things going forward. We're going to continue putting in uh, these type of efforts week after week after week. It'll never end. And we're going to keep improving on it, too. So um, awesome job, everybody. Thanks so much for joining in. If you like the video, please, again, I'm... Um, I'm not going to be it's very selfless here. Uh, please like the video. Um, leave a comment uh, on the main page if you would. And let me know what you guys thought. What you guys need more work on. What would you like to see? I'm very, very open and transparent about taking your suggestions and, and working them into our programming. Because that's important to me that you guys are telling me uh, what exactly that you want. And I help you know with my own uh, experience and my own opinions on how we should do things. Take those, uh, take that advice, and help program them in, program them into your training. So, um, I hope you all have a great Monday night. Thanks everyone for sticking around with me for um, nearly an hour today. So, awesome job. See you guys on Wednesday for.